Welcome ladies and gentlemen to day five of our Alaskan Disney Cruise Line vacation. Today we're in Juneau, Alaska where we're going to be checking out the Mendenhall Glacier and hiking down to Nugget Falls. We're going to hop back on board the ship where it's lobster night in the main dining room and we're going to experience a shimmering soiree. All that in today's video and so much more up next. <laughs> Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the beautiful Disney Wonder where it is day five of our Alaskan Disney Cruise Line vacation and guys today we are in Juneau, Alaska. Today's video is going to be very exciting because we're doing something that I really wanted to do the last time we were here after we got back from Alaska. I discovered this location after we got back and I was like, why did we not do this? I wish we could have done it while we were there the last time and now we're doing it today. We're going to the Mendenhall Glacier, guys, and we're gonna be taking the hike down to Nugget Falls, this massive waterfall that is right next to the glacier that is on the water. I'm super excited to head out there and to experience this hike and to show you guys what it's like and to show you guys whether or not the hike is really worth it to go to Nugget Falls and just everything in between so i hope you guys are ready for an exciting video it's gonna be a fun day guys let's go ahead upstairs to cabanas and grab some breakfast time for breakfast at cabanas let's go ahead and start grabbing some food grab some eggs get a couple of hash browns Whoop. that's what i get for looking through the camera get some sausages too ham and cheese croissants you and your corned beef hash it's so good no it is not corned beef hash is gross Dakota went ahead and got me an Eggs Benedict. Thank you, baby. Let's get some of that hollandaise sauce. It's the good stuff. Thank you, baby. Anywhere else? Nope, that's good. All right, it is time to dig in. And because we're in Juno, we have cell service now, so my mom is FaceTiming my dad right now, and we can see our little puppies, <laughs> Molly and Emily. So everyone's doing good back at home, huh? Yes. That's good to I hear. I know, Emily is spoiled by this girl. <laughs> it's not even your dog. She's marrying, into, yeah, she's marrying into the dogs. Yeah, marrying into the dogs. There you go. <laughs> All right, we made it to Juno. We are off the ship. There is the Disney Wonder. We're going to catch one of the shuttles to the city center where we're going to hop on board a bus over to the glacier. You'll see a sign over here that says Port Shuttle Service. You're gonna hop on board. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we made it to downtown Juneau. We are parked right underneath the Mount Roberts tram cable car that takes you all the way up to the top of Mount Roberts over here. In case you guys are wondering, the bus from the AJ dock is going to drop you off over here under this tarp. And there's a sign over there that says AJ shuttle. That is the shuttle that you wanna take in order to get back to the ship. Keep that in mind. Any bus that parks underneath this awning is what's going to take you back to the ship and also the shuttle is free which is very nice to hear so we're going to be trying to um find where we need to go for our mendenhall glacier shuttle as soon as we find where that is i'll make sure to let you guys know we found the bus juno tours and whale watch he has a sign over there that says glacier shuttle we're going to be checking in with him and hopping on the bus okay so we're all seated on the bus and i just want to share some information with you guys if you're continuing to do the whale watch after the mendenhall glacier you're going to go to the goat stop if you're wanting to go back into town like we are then you're looking for the bear stop those are the two associated signs Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Mendenhall Glacier Visitor Center in the Tongass National Forest. And right back there, that is the Mendenhall Glacier. Oh my God. This camera does not do it justice. It looks so much bigger in person and so much more vibrant blue. Oh my God, it is gorgeous. I cannot wait to get closer. Okay, so over here at the Mendenhall Glacier Visitor Center, we have a whole bunch of different trails that you can do in varying lengths. We are currently right here at the Visitor Center. What we're gonna be doing is the Nugget Falls Trail. So they said it's about a 30 minute walk there and back. So not crazy long compared to all these other ones that you could possibly do. We're only here for the Nugget Falls one, but wow, there is so much more that you can do here than I thought. And let's see, alerts. Due to mating season, bears may be stressed and agitated. Please give wildlife extra space. Ask a ranger for more bear safety information. Yes. Basically, make yourself big and make noise. Yes. <laughs> so right before we hit the trail for Nugget Falls, they have a little bit of a lookout point over here 
where you can get a couple pictures of the Mendenhall Glacier. And it looks like there's a way to walk down closer to the water. Let's see if we can do that. Oh my gosh, guys, take a look at this. You can get right up to the water, or you can be like Koda and actually get in the water. <laughs> Her shoes are more waterproof than mine. Mine are like water resistant, hers are waterproof. But, oh my gosh, take a look at that view of the glacier, guys. We can get right up close to the water. And then they have all the ice out here, too. Just like any glacier, it is capable of calving and sending ice chunks into the water. All right, so we came across the photo point spots trail thing. <laughs> and there's a rock over here that you can climb on top of. And, oh my god, take a look at that view. Holy cow. And take a look at this, guys. We made it to the photo point, and this is definitely one of the greatest views in all of Alaska. Look at how gorgeous this is. You can see Nugget Falls right over there, and you can see all the people right next to the waterfall too. They're very tiny, just to give you a little scale and perspective as to how big the waterfall is. But man, that glacier though, definitely a work of art. You see guys, this right here is why I wanted to bring Koda to Alaska. I wanted to show her these things because in our lifetime, these glaciers are probably going to be gone. I've seen pictures of Mendenhall Glacier and how extravagant it used to look. It used to extend all over here. It used to be so much bigger. And now look at how small it is now. It's really sad. So I, you know, it's things like this that I wanted to treat Koda to, you know? I want to make sure that she has these experiences to look back on. And I'm happy that I'm able to do this for her because this is gorgeous and I'm happy that we can see these with our own eyes. All right, babe, you ready to hike down to Nugget Falls? All right, let the mile long hike begin down towards Nugget Falls. gosh guys we made it take a look at that nugget falls holy cow yep that hike was definitely worth it wow all i can say is wow this is uh incredible majestic awe-inspiring what do you think was that hike worth it yeah. very easy hike but oh man that that is a payoff right there and you can get right up close to it too. You can see how close people are getting down there at the base of the waterfall. Oh my goodness. cold over here oh my god it is significantly colder the closer you get to this waterfall oh my days it is cold oh god all right ladies and gentlemen we spent our time here we got our pictures and videos let's go ahead and make the hike back and ladies and gentlemen the rain has started it's a good thing we packed an umbrella Coda and my mom have her rain gear I have this jacket the temperature has dropped significantly it's much colder and now on top of that, it's raining. So whew, make sure you have what you need. All right, we made it inside the Mendenhall Glacier Visitor Center. This is the observatory structure. Let's go ahead and take a quick look around. Oh, take a look at that. They do have an auditorium in here. They have a film that's starting in five seconds. <laughs> they have a little gift shop in here for you to buy different souvenirs from Mendenhall Glacier. And they have a big observatory area. Holy cow, with plenty of benches. You can see my mom and Coda taking a seat over here as well. <laughs> but I want to point you guys over to this view over here. Holy moly. That is quite a view. I know it's a little bit foggy outside, but you can make out the glacier. And there's the waterfall right there. We were all the way down there. 
That was quite a hike. It was a good hike. And now we're all the way back up over here. What a view. Wow, guys, take a look at this. This is actually kind of sad. These are pictures of the glacier over the years. 1958, look at how massive that was. Here we are in 1985, a little bit smaller. 2003 going. And here we are in 2010, eh, over like 13 years ago. And even then, it's still significantly larger than what it is now. And then you compare those pictures to what's actually left of the glacier today. It's not gonna be long now before the glacier doesn't even touch the water anymore. And that's really sad. And you move along further inside the visitor center, we have some other exhibits. They have some telescopes out here, some taxidermy animals that you can take a look at, some different pelts, some more exhibits on the glacier. So that way you can learn some more information on what you're looking at. Wow, take a look at this time lapse over here of where the glacier was. Oh my gosh, that is, that's horrifically sad and how the glaciers are shrinking. But you can also see how it moves forward. We did learn on our last cruise that glaciers do have the capability of moving forwards and backwards. They can move forwards, upwards of like two or three inches a day, I believe, if I recall correctly. But wow, that's just so fascinating to me. I'm just happy that I'm able to, you know, experience the glacier before it actually goes away forever because believe me, it will happen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our time at the Mendenhall Glacier has come to a close. We are leaving a visitor center and making our way back down the hill towards the bus stop. For the life of me, I still cannot believe that we missed this completely the last time we were here in Alaska. It wasn't until I got home that I, you know, saw videos and photos of Mendenhall Glacier and I'm like, Oh my God, why didn't we do this? So I'm very happy that we were able to do this excursion. Now I did book this third party. It was $45 a person and we did have to take a shuttle from the ship over to downtown Juneau. However, the shuttle was completely free. We hopped on board the bus and the bus uh, comes and drops guests off over here at Mendenhall Glacier and picks them up on the half hour and the hour. So about every 30 minutes, the bus shows up. You can book this kind of excursion through Disney. However, you do have a set time frame of how long you can be here because the bucks that picks you up from the ship has to return at a certain time. So we saw a few people here who are having to pick and choose what activities they did. So for cheaper, a little bit more, you know, hassle, we were able to come out here and do this excursion at our own pace and on our own time. All right, we have made it back downtown and it is significantly more busy now than it was early this morning. When we first got here, the Disney Wonder was the only ship in town. But now we have three more cruise ships that docked, one of which is Quantum of the Seas, which at one point was one of the world's largest cruise ships. So yeah, there are definitely a lot more people here now than there were earlier. So make sure if you're sailing on one of those other cruise ships, you pack your patience. It's a good thing that we did the Mindenhall Glacier when we did, and we got back when we did. That way we don't have to worry about it too, too much. Now, Coda wants to do a little bit of shopping. So we're gonna head on across the street and see what we can buy. Yeah, you can definitely tell that there are multiple cruise ships in today. This place is busy. So I love how this ship is very clearly the Disney Wonder. Just look at those colors and the design scheme and the red funnel. Like, come on, you're not fooling anybody. That is the Disney Wonder. I love that. <laughs> the Alaska T-Shirt Company is basically your go-to place for any and all cheaply mass-produced Alaska merchandise. You name it, they have it here for you to buy. Ah, a short three-minute bus ride later, we have made it back to the Disney Wonder. And in typical Alaska fashion, they have hot chocolate waiting for us as we get back on board the ship. Alrighty, made it back on board the Disney Wonder. Now it's time to get some grub. We are hungry. This is a look at the adult only area. A couple folks are utilizing the hot tub today, but we're not gonna be doing that right now. We just want some food. We were all very physically active today. So uh, yeah, <laughs> we all got some food. <sighs> you guys ever have those naps? where at the beginning, it sounds like a really good idea. You're like, yeah, I can nap for like an hour, hour 10, and I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna feel energized and I'm gonna be ready for the rest of the evening. And then you take that nap and you wake up and you regret everything. That's me and Coda right now. We took that nap 
And it was a glorious snap, don't get us wrong, it was a glorious snap. But we are both waking up feeling so drained and so tired. We haven't stopped yawning, honestly. It's, uh, and, uh, it was a mistake. <laughs> that nap was a mistake. Now we gotta go down to dinner. It's lobster night over at Triton, so we're super excited for that, of course. But at the same time, though, we have Frozen the musical to look forward to later tonight, and we're just sitting here like, how are we going to survive this? But it's fine. We're dressed, we're gonna go downstairs, we're gonna take a couple pictures before and after dinner, most likely after dinner, if we're being completely honest. And then we're gonna go see Frozen, and maybe do a couple more activities tonight before we turn in. The video is not over yet, guys, but uh, I just wanted to feel, I just wanted to share how I was feeling right now. I can't even talk properly. Babe, are you good back there? Ah, okay, something's splashing over there. It's fine. Do you regret that nap, babe? Yeah. Yeah? Regrets? Regrets. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go ahead downstairs and go to dinner. All right, after taking some nice photos, let's go ahead and have dinner at Triton's. All right, guys, we made it to Triton's for lobster night. Let's go ahead and take a look at the menu. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the menu. We have our appetizers over here, prosciutto, tiger shrimp. We have our regional inspirations, a huntsman appetizer, and oyster mushrooms. We have our different soups and salads, as well as some regional inspirations. The white onion soup is my personal favorite. Moving on over to our main course, we have an oven pink lobster tail. Of course, we're going to get some of that. A fettuccine parmesan crusted chicken and a roasted red snapper. We have some regional inspirations as well. Here are your vegetarian options and your lighter note offerings. I really do love coming here to Triton's for dinner. However, my biggest complaint is that the restaurant in some portions is super dark. Some tables have nice bright lights and others like ours are very dim and it's kind of hard to see. All right, our appetizers have arrived. For tonight, I have the tiger shrimp. Next up, our soup course has arrived. I ordered the white onion soup. And our entrees have arrived. It is lobster night. And with the lobster, I also went for the halibut. All right, the dessert menu has arrived. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, over here we have our specialty drinks as <laughs> usual. We're not gonna cover any of that. Over here we have our desserts, a raspberry vanilla creme brulee, an apricot trio, a chocolate lava cake, and the captain's table sundae. Here are the no sugar added desserts and the regional inspiration. And take a look at this, guys. Our servers brought us out a little cake that says congratulations for our engagement. How sweet! All right, a very successful lobster night over here at Triton's. Now we are heading on outside to the atrium for the shimmering soiree. Now I know you see me see the captain and you don't want to see me. You want to see the stars. <laughs> that was so cool! There is so much confetti all over the floor. I was not expecting the confetti. <laughs> okay, so I finally found Dakota. What is this that you have? Uh, vodka, blue curacao, and something else that got too loud. <laughs> <laughs> it's blue either way, right? To celebrate the silver anniversary at sea. Yes. <laughs> I love that. Is it good? Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll try some in a minute. Yeah, that drink is... Uh, that drink is definitely strong. <laughs> All right, baby, you want me to hold your drink? I'll hold your drink. You go meet your boys.
hello. Oh my gosh, I love your outfits. You guys look incredible. All right, we have made it inside the theater for Frozen. This is going to be the most popular show on your Alaskan sailing. Seats will fill up quickly, so make sure you guys get here nice and early if you want a good seat. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just got out of Frozen, and once again, I have to show you guys these incredible views out here. Oh my gosh. I know I gushed about them on our last Alaskan cruise, but you know what? I, I'm, I'm never going to get over it. This is all absolutely incredible. Just being able to come out on the deck and see these snow-capped mountains. It is wild, man. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. But the cruise is almost over. We only have one more port of call left and then a final sea day. So two full days left of this cruise. I'm not ready for it to end. It has been so incredibly magical. Have you never seen this secret area? Yeah, not many guests know about this. If you do the full loop of the jogging track, you come over here to the very front of the ship. This is the nose, and this is all the lines that they use to tie the ship down, and even part of the anchor over there. This is a very underrated place to come, and it's very cool to see how some of this stuff works. I think they have this area closed off when they're actually like docking the ship somewhere, but still, being able to come behind the scenes is really, really cool. And this is all public guest area. This is all part of the jogging track. They do have a barrier over here. You're able to do this on both the Dream, or not the Dream, sorry, on the Wonder and the Magic. And if you complete the full loop, you end up on the opposite side of the ship. You can see all the rain down there. Holy cow. A lot of rain. We are slowly but surely making our way over to Catch Can, our final port of call in Alaska. All right, so we're heading back to the room and Coda's already had the opportunity to see the towel animal that we got tonight. And she's pretty excited for it. <laughs> but I wanna show you guys what we got. So let's go ahead and see what awaits us. Oh my God, it's a giraffe. <laughs> oh no. Wow, have we had a giraffe before? I don't think so. That is adorable. That is so good. It's very well done. Bravo, holy cow. And take a look at this. We have our Mickey print. Special for the silver anniversary at sea. Everyone who's part of Castaway Club gets this special print to bring home with them. And it's framed too. It's like ready to hang up on your wall. That is so cool. You get this on the nights that you do the shimmering soiree. So in case you guys are watching this in the near future during the 25th anniversary sailings, be sure to uh, keep an eye out for this. And also, we only have a couple nights left of our sailing. We have our customs forms on the bed as well. We gotta make sure we fill these out before we get back into Canada. You know guys, I just wanna point out that it is 10.15 in the evening, and this is how bright it is outside. It could be a lot brighter if it wasn't so cloudy outside, but just, oh my gosh, look at these mountains. We're getting so much closer to them too, much closer than I expected. This is just gorgeous, man. The beauty of Alaska. Holy cow. I don't know if these mountains stay like this all year round, but man, this is just absolutely stunning. Oof. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, that is going to do it from us here on the Disney Wonder for day five of our Alaskan Disney Cruise Line vacation. I can't believe it is almost over. Tomorrow, we are going to be in Ketchikan where we are going to be doing the Wilderness Exploration Tour and Crab Feast. I'm super excited to experience that and to review for you guys to let you guys know if it's worth your time and money. But man, today was a wild day. That waterfall, Nugget Falls was incredible, and Mendenhall Glacier was absolutely incredible. Again, I cannot believe that I missed that the last time we were here in Alaska. I'm so happy that we were able to do it this time, and I'm even more happy that I was able to bring Coda along too. This whole trip has just been absolutely amazing, guys. This trip definitely beats our last Alaska trip by a mile. And that's not even including our engagement yesterday because, man, that was something else. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on everything that you saw in today's video down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed any part of today's video, please make sure you leave a like on the video as it greatly helps us out. And as always, if you are new around here and you want to see more content like this in the future, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are wanting to see more Alaska content from our cruise last year, I'll have a link to that playlist down in the description below for you guys. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, evening, and I'll see you guys in the next video.